Hi, my name is Ignatius Joanito from Genome Institute of Singapore, and I'm excited to share our work titled as Single Cell and Bulk Transcriptome Sequencing Identify Two Epithelial Tumor Cell State and Refine the Consensus Molecular Classification of Colorectal Cancer. As you may already know, CRC is a heterogeneous disease. As a result, a lot of effort has been done to develop a good classification method to stratify this patient into bins so we can treat patients in each group separately. The consensus molecular subtype, or CMS, is currently state-of-the-art transcriptome classification for colorectal cancer. It classifies CRC into four different groups, CMS1, CMS2, CMS3, and CMS4. Despite being able to distinguish most of the CRC tumor, the CMS classification is still based on bulk rna seq which will obscure the signature of distinct cell population and completely miss the microenvironment interaction. Because of this reason, the underlying epithelial cell diversity in CRC remains unclear. In this study, we collected data from five cohorts from three different countries called as CRC SG1, CRC SG2, CAL3, CAL5, and SMC. In total, we have 189 samples from 63 patients, which generate 373,000 high quality cells. We will focus our analysis on the epithelial cells, validate our finding using 3,614 3, bulk transcriptome and finally perform an integrative analysis. For epithelial subtype, we found that most of the cells form patient-specific cluster. However, we believe this is not due to the batch effect because all normal cells are still clumped together and forming one normal cluster. Next, we calculate a zero-bulk transcriptome for these patient-specific clusters. And using PC analysis, we found that two separate groups are self-emerged with a very distinct marker genes. After that, we tried to validate this observation by integrating single cell data from five different cohorts. Remarkably, these two epithelial subtypes are consistently emerged in three independent analyses, which you can see from single cell expression profile on the left, invert copy number profile in the middle, and the regular profile on the right. From these results, we found that almost all ICMS2 are enriched for CNV, while ICMS3 are mostly deployed. Furthermore, we also found several interesting TFs such as TCF7 and MIC are upregulated in ICMS2, while NF-kappa-B and ATOH1 are upregulated in ICMS3. Hence, the results suggest pervasive biological program differences between the two epithelial subtypes. Previously, CRC tumors have always been divided into two different groups, which are the microsatellite stable or MSS and the microsatellite instable or MSI. Recently, there are many interests in MSI tumor because it shows better responses to immunotherapy treatments. In this study, we found that all MSI tumors are ICMS3. However, we also found that some MSS clustered together with MSI tumor, suggesting biological programs in I3 MSS, which are far more similar to MSI high than I2 MSS tumors. The endogram construction based on the transcriptomic distance also pointed to distinct differences between the two intrinsic subtypes with much greater similarity between I3 MSS with I3 MSI than with I2 MSS tumor. This result is very interesting since previous studies have always assumed a high level dichotomy defined by MSI high and MSS tumor. Hence, understanding the immunological makeup of I2 and I3 MSS cancer could inform subtype directed development of immunotherapy treatments. Next, we try to validate this finding in bigger cohort using bulk rna seq data. Here, we quantify our intrinsic epithelial signature in 3,614 bulk transcriptome data across 15 data sets and recapitulate the two intrinsic subtypes. We also found that most of I2 tumor are left-sided, while most of I3 tumor are right-sided. All MSI tumor are I3, while some MSS group are also co-clustered with MSI tumor as we observe in the single cell data. CMS1 and CMS3 are mainly I3, while CMS2 are mainly I2. However, we also found that CMS4 can be either be I2 or I3 with an equal proportion, suggesting fibrosis may be separated from the intrinsic epithelial structure. Next, we combine the bulk transcriptome into single gene expression matrix and perform a de novo clustering on it. Here, we again found a self-evident organization by MSI status, CMS, and ICMS. We support that they might provide the underlying structure to the molecular classification of CRC. We also observed that most MSI tumors are immune infiltrated, which was indicated by high expression level of genes that are expressed by immune cells. Most CMS4 tumors are fibrotic, which indicated by high expression of genes that are expressed by fibroblasts and endothelial cells. And again, we found that CMS4 are split into two separate groups depending on their ICMS status, which might suggest that epithelial subtype and fibrosis are decoupled.
As reported previously, we also observed bad relapse-free survival for CMS4. However, the poor RFS is actually a feature of I3C4 group. This result is very interesting because it indicates that CMS4 cancer with I3 epithelium should be the focus of biological and clinical study seeking to prevent metastasis in CRC. Based on previous result, we therefore propose a reorganization of four group CMS into five groups based upon three biological layer of intrinsic epithelial status, microsatellite status, and presence of fibrosis. Together, we name this classification system as IMF, which stratify two more into five classes, as you can see in this figure. Unfortunately, due to time limitation, I can only share with you the summary of biological feature of these two subtypes. Here, we found that most of I2 cell are enriched for APC and TP53 mutations. They are enriched for CNV, mainly left colon, related to adenomatous polyp and creep bottom gene signature and have greater WNT and MIG activity. On the other hand, ICMS3 are enriched for KIRAS, PIG3CA, and BRAF mutation. They are mostly deployed, mainly right colon, related to sessile serrated polyps and gastric metasplasia gene signature, have greater MAP kinase pathway activity, have higher inflammation response pathway score, and also have the worst survivor rates. And with this, I would like to thank my mentor, Dr. Sham Prabhakar and Dr. Ian Tan, our collaborators, Dr. Siabin Tejpar and Dr. Wen Yong Pak, all funding agencies, and also everyone who works in this project that I cannot mention one by one. Thank you.